You don't need another YouTube rabbit hole. You don't need another expensive scanner. You need people. In this episode, I'm going to explain why joining the Digital Limb Collective is one of the smartest moves you can make as a beginner in ONP 3D printing and digital design, and what actually happens once you're inside. Hey guys, it's Arthur from ONP Digital Designer. If you're an orthotist, prosthetist, technician, or just uh, the person in the clinic who likes technology and you're trying to figure out digital tools, you've probably felt at least one of these. Everyone else seems five years ahead. Every software demo looks magical until you actually try to use it. And if you don't really have anyone to ask the dumb engineer questions without feeling like you're wasting their time. That's exactly why we built the Digital Limb Collective or the DLC. It's a Discord-based community where people working with 3D printing, scanning, and digital workflows in ONP can actually talk to each other, compare notes, and get unstuck without going through a sales rep, a vendor, or a marketing brochure. In this episode, I want to walk through why beginners are struggling today, and what DLC actually is beyond the buzzwords. Why starting as a beginner inside a community of advanced users is a massive shortcut, and how to join and what to do in your first week. Let's start with something obvious that almost nobody says out loud. Learning digital and OMP is not hard because the technology is impossible. It's hard because the information is fragmented. Everyone is quietly reinventing the same workflows in isolation. And the people who know a lot are usually too busy to document it. As a beginner, that puts you in a rough spot. You might be watching random printer reviews that don't understand healthcare, copying slicer profiles that were made for cosplay helmets, not prosthetic sockets, or relying on vendor training that obviously avoids anything that would make you too independent. So you end up with this weird situation. You're motivated, you're willing to learn, you even have the equipment, but you don't have a network that tells you, no, don't waste six months on that, do this instead. That's the gap the DLC is designed to close. So what is the DLC in practical terms? The DLC is a Discord community specifically focused on 3D printing, scanning, slicing, and digital workflows for ONP, a mix of clinicians, technicians, engineers, and stubborn tinkerers who refuse to wait for big companies to innovate for them. And inside, you're going to see real cases being discussed, people sharing slicer profiles, printer setups, and clinical outcomes, experiments that worked, and experiments that failed, which is just as valuable. And importantly, there is no vendor script. Nobody's trying to steer you towards one magical closed platform. The entire point is open discussion, open experimentation, and building skills that stay with you, not locked inside some company's proprietary ecosystem. For beginners, that means you don't just get content, you get context. Why people choose certain printers, why a workflow was changed after real patient experience, and what they would do differently if they had to start again today. Now, why is joining the DLC one of the best things you can do as a beginner? Three big reasons. You collapse your learning curve. Instead of spending six months learning the wrong tool or chasing every shiny tech trend on LinkedIn, you can literally walk into the DLC and ask, if I'm a small clinic with one printer, what's the most realistic first workflow? If Is this scanner worth it or should I start with an iPad? What is the simplest way to get a foot orthotic or a BK diagnostic socket out of my current setup? And you'll get answers from people actually doing it, not people selling. You absorb advanced thinking without needing advanced skills. That is the second thing that you get from going into the DLC. The community includes people who run print farms, write their own automation tools, and are pushing the limits of what you can do with FDM, MJF, and everything in between. As a beginner, you're not expected to operate at that level on day one, but just by being in the room, seeing those conversations, you start to learn the vocabulary, see patterns in what works and what doesn't, and understand what good looks like before you try to build it. That's incredibly valuable. Instead of guessing what the end game is, you get to see it in real time. You stop feeling like the only weird tech person in your clinic. If you join the DLC, a lot of early adopters are working almost alone. You're the only one experimenting with prints after hours. You're the only one pushing for digital capture or in-house devices. Once you join our community, you immediately will meet 20 to 30 other people who are exactly like you. Same frustrations, same excitement, same why is nobody else seeing this opportunity feeling. That psychological piece matters. It's a lot easier to stay on course and push your clinic forward when you're not doing it in isolation. 
But if I'm a complete beginner, will I be in the way? Let's address that elephant in the room. Maybe you're thinking, I barely know how to slice an STL. Aren't these communities just for advanced people? Here's the reality. Yes, we have advanced users doing highly technical work. No, that doesn't mean beginners aren't welcome. In fact, beginners are incredibly useful to a community because you ask the questions everyone else forgot to ask. You force people to explain their process clearly. And you highlight where the bottlenecks are for adoption in actual clinics. As long as you are willing to read, listen, and try things, ask questions in good faith, and share what you learn, even if it's small, you're not in the way. You're part of the reason the community exists. If you decide to join the DLC as a beginner, here's what I recommend for your first week. Introduce yourself. Post a short intro. Who you are. What your clinic or context is. What tools you already have. And what you're hoping to accomplish in the next 6 to 12 months. You don't need a grand vision. I want to print my first clinically usable device is more than enough to get started. Step 2. Lurk strategically. Spend some time just reading. Look at how people talk about materials, failures, and redesign. Pay attention to repeat themes, which printers keep coming up, which slicers, and which workflows. Your job here is to get a map of the territory before you start sprinting. Step 3. Ask one very specific question. Not, how do I learn everything? Something like, if I had one mid-range FDM printer and an iPad, what should my first project be? Or, is there a proven workflow for my interest that I should copy before I improvise? Specific questions get specific usable answers. Step four, share your first small win. When you get your first usable print, try out a new material, or successfully scan a patient or model, share it. Not to show off, but to close the loop. Here's what I tried, here's what happened, and here's what I'll change the next time. That's how you start contributing, even as a beginner. Your call to action. So if you're at the beginning of your digital journey, overwhelmed by conflicting advice, and tired of feeling like you're the only one in your clinic who cares about this stuff, then joining the DLC is one of the smartest moves you can make right now. You get direct access to people actively pushing the field forward, a place to ask real questions without being sold to, and a community that actually wants independent, small, scrappy clinics to win. You don't have to have everything figured out before you walk through the door. The entire point is the door. You'll find a link to join the DLC below this episode. Come in, introduce yourself, and tell us where you're starting from, and we'll help you figure out where to go next. I'm Arthur with ONP Digital Designer, and thanks for listening, and I hope to see you inside the Digital Limb Collective.